I am Ms. Hanan Hamid, doctoral candidate, founder, director of the Arts Education Academy Network, arts education and curriculum specialist, dancer, choreographer, percussionist from New York, representing Mother Africa. I was born with lupus even though I didn't know it. I was diagnosed at age 30, turning 31, when I went for a physical at the end of the school year when I was teaching high school. And I, they saw something in my blood work and it wasn't normal. So I spoke to one of my sister friends who was a doctor and she and her colleague looked at my blood work and they suggested that I see a specialist. I started having rashes from being in the sun. I had sinus infections that made me feel like I had goggles on my face. I was having extreme pain, fatigue, but these were things that I felt my entire life that they always attributed to dancing and having a busy schedule and carrying heavy book bags because I was in all of these science programs. So 2010 is when I was officially diagnosed with lupus. My journey to healing, both physically and mentally, are still works in progress, but physically I have come a long way. I was in a wheelchair, in and out of the hospital, heart attack scare, canes, rollators, walkers, braces, using aquatics therapy, dance, yoga, weight training, exercise. All of these things helped me to be able to regain my strength, walk again, breathe properly, and be able to be physical and participate in dance again. Mentally, I had to retrain the way that I look at dance and the way that I interact with people and with the world. So I had to, instead of looking for how much weight I can lift or how hard I can push, I had to just be, be happy with being able to participate, working until I sweat and find peace and happiness within that. So I had to just change the way that I looked at everything and the way that I moved. The experience of being diagnosed with lupus changed my life drastically. I had to close my school. I was forced to leave my profession as a teacher in the New York City public school system. After receiving or earning two master's degrees, I had to leave my next career of being a principal. So it forced me to stop teaching, stop dancing, I was in a wheelchair, I almost had a heart attack, I was not able to live alone anymore, I was not able to live independently. I had to move from New York to Connecticut and live with my parents so they could take care of me. And it, it was just a drastic, drastic life change. I went from making six figures to needing government support and living on disability. And the benefit of it all, even though I did not see it at, at first, was that it gave me the freedom to do what I am doing now. So outside of the school system, I'm not bound by the rules and the laws of the state. I'm able to teach the curriculum the way that I see fit, the way that it is beneficial for our people, for our students and it gave me the freedom to not be bound with physical boundaries of an of a actual physical school. So now my school is mobile and I'm able to travel. I ventured forward in many ways. Even though the lupus took a lot of my physical ability and energy, my mental and, and intellect is still remains. So I ventured forward with my studies with pursuing my doctorate of education in curriculum instruction and assessment, doing my research, and helping others. So now I'm able to help people in different places around the world through art education and through my art. Having lupus and dealing with autoimmune personally, it means that I can overcome anything. It means that no matter what happens, no matter what I go through, I am still here, I am still strong. I can still fight, I can still push on, I can still help others, and no matter what, I can still do what I need to do for myself. 
regardless of the pain. So yes, it gets bad. Yes, it gets difficult. <laughs> um, but personally, I am I am stronger. My advice to other lupus warriors or lupilicious warriors, as I call myself, is to identify your triggers. What aggravates your condition? And also identify the things that help alleviate your symptoms. Who are you around that makes you feel better? What do you do that, that takes your pain away? And those are the things that you want to continue. You want to make sure that you are eating properly, exercising, pay attention to your body, be gentle with yourself. And no matter what, find a reason to smile and laugh every day because laughter is the best medicine and continue to do the things that make you happy with your new normal. So yes, there is a change. Yes, your life is different, but in your new normal, you can still find happiness, you can still find love, and you can still find peace.